The latest version of the UCAS breakpoint table for bacteria is available on the UCAS website. The document is released as an Excel file suitable for viewing on screen and as a PDF file suitable for printing. UCAS breakpoints for different organisms or groups of organisms are listed in separate tables within the document. At the top of each table, the UCAS recommendations for distribution and quality control are listed. MIC breakpoints are expressed in milligrams per litre as susceptible, less than or equal to a value, and resistant, greater than a value. By international convention, MIC dilution series are based on twofold dilutions up and down from one milligram per litre. At dilutions below 0.25, this leads to concentrations with multiple decimal places. UCAST has decided to use the following format in tables and documents. Sewn diameter breakpoints are expressed in millimetres as susceptible, greater than or equal to a value, and resistant, less than a value. The intermediate category is not listed in the table, but it is interpreted as the value or values between the susceptible and resistant breakpoints. If the SNR breakpoints are identical, there is no intermediate category as for agent A in this example. If the MIC breakpoints are S, less than or equal to 2 and R greater than 4 mg per litre, as for agent B in this example, the intermediate category is 4 mg per litre. Correspondingly, if the zone diameter breakpoints are S more than or equal to 26 and R less than 23 mm, the intermediate category is 23 to 25 mm. IE indicates that there is insufficient evidence that the species is a good target for therapy with the agent. An MIC with a comment but without an accompanying S I or R categorization may be reported. A dash indicates that susceptibility testing is not recommended as the species is a poor target for therapy with the agent. Isolates may be reported as R without prior testing. IP means that breakpoints are in preparation. NA means not applicable and is mostly used for agents with zone diameter screening breakpoints where there are no clinical MIC breakpoints. Antimicrobial agents followed by a species name indicates that the breakpoints apply only to that particular species as in this example with Staphylococcus aureus. Breakpoints for antimicrobial agents marked with screen are used to differentiate between isolates without and with resistance mechanisms. Such screening breakpoints should not be used as clinical breakpoints. Numbered notes relate to general commons and or MIC breakpoints. Lettered notes relate to the disk diffusion method. Changes from the previous version of the breakpoint table are highlighted in yellow for organisms, antimicrobial agents, disc contents and breakpoints. New or revised comments are underlined. Removed comments are shown with a line through the text. At the end of the breakpoint table, UCAST includes a separate table with PKPD breakpoints. These breakpoints are used only when there are no specific breakpoints for the species in question, a dash, or a note giving a specific recommendation for how to interpret results. The table of PKPD breakpoints is followed by a table listing dosages on which UCAS clinical breakpoints are based. MIC breakpoints in blue are linked to MIC distributions in the UCAS database. Zone diameter breakpoints in blue are linked to zone diameter distributions in the UCAS database. Antimicrobial agents in blue are linked to UCAS rational documents. These documents summarize the information on which the UCAS clinical breakpoints are based. 